board meeting today. <laughs> There's talk that they may sell the company or they're going to try to well, convince. they could try. I mean, who would want it? I mean, who would want Twitter? And, and, you know, to say nothing of what, you know, look, Twitter is systematically having a go at conservatives. There's even chatter online of them having a race problem. You know, there are people saying that Twitter has a race problem. It doesn't like white people very much. It's got this black supremacist, Black Lives Matter hashtag up in its San Francisco offices. You may find that argument a little far-fetched, but there are plenty of people making it. Um, you know, that, that, that raises the specter of antitrust, you know, and Cruz would probably be up for that. I mean, <laughs> come on. You know, there's all sorts <laughs> of things that, there's all sorts of things that could happen. Jack Dorsey is very clearly checked out of this business. He doesn't care. He's not interested in the business is tanked. They're losing their users. And as I spoke to you about um, at one of the conventions, you know, my analysis of Twitter is that the conventional wisdom is 180 degrees wrong on this. Um, everybody, the media and journalists, everybody is telling us the problem with Twitter is too much trolling, too much meanness, too much quote unquote abuse and harassment. I see the problem as exactly the reverse. When Twitter started cracking down on free speech, the platform started failing. And that is the history of social networks. And that rule has never been broken in the history of Was social networks. Was there a single tweet or a series of tweets that got you banned from Twitter and in, in, in your version of what could be a more fun world. <laughs> <laughs> would those tweets have been okay? I guess they would have been. I mean, I said, I think I, no, I told the Wall Street Journal that Leslie Jones, um, the subject of the new Ghostbusters movie, looked remarkably like one of my ex-boyfriends, which she does. Um, and I said that it was nice that they'd cast a hot black dude in the movie. Um, you know, these are the kind of like, oh, okay, fine, a gay, a gay guy's catty, you know, stop the presses. Uh, this is not <laughs> a reason to get somebody off Twitter. They did it for political reasons. They've been waiting for an excuse for a long time. What I actually did was wrote a very long, very good, very brutal and bitchy, but I thought ultimately quite fair review of a very bad feminist movie and that because it had a, a what do you a think of Colin woman. Kaepernick oh god I'm so bored about hearing about this silly grandstanding you know those, those moments when, you know, you have the national anthem, when everybody comes together, despite their political differences, race, gender, you know, politics, whatever, those are the moments when you're supposed to be respectful of your fellow players, of the audience, of everybody around you, come together for that moment and say, okay, this is, these are the things we believe in, you know, let's go do this, But guys. that seems to run against your, yeah, your thought. Yeah, I think that, it's that contradictory. Run against, uh, run against your thought that we should be less respectful and less... Oh, no, uh, I think we should be hugely uh, respectful of free speech and freedom of prissy expression. in a way, you know. No, no, no. Look, I don't want to get too uptight about it, because yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care about, about some sportsman, as I, as I started out to say. I don't care about some sportsman You're bored having, with him. having a little, like, tantrum, hissy fit spectacle, OK? What I, what I would like, though, is that when our sportsmen and celebrities do things like this and all eyes are on them afterwards, I would like them to actually say something of substance, like have a real argument, rather than just these lefty talking points. And by the way, the reason sales of his shirt are going up because, is because people are burning them. But you do support his right to do what he did. Of course. I just think he's an idiot. Hey, CNBC fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.